So are you thinking about moving to Allen, Texas? Well, in this video, we're actually gonna take you around and if your price range is in the $400,000 range, then we're gonna show you a couple of different homes in that range between four to 500,000. We're actually right here, uh, right in the middle of the Allen Outlet Malls, pretty cool. But uh, stick around in this, we'll take you around, show you a little bit here, and then take you through some neighborhoods. Again, if your price range is between four to 500,000 and you're looking in Allen, Texas, this video is for you, and we're gonna get after it right now. All right, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Allen, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi, you know my partner Travis and the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We love it, so whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. Now, as I mentioned, we're here in the Allen Outlet premium or premium uh, outlet mall you can see i mean this place is actually pretty massive it goes all the way down there all the way around there all the way around there this whole i mean they've got food courts here you've got brooks brothers you've got the loft you've got banana republic i mean uh polo ralph lauren you got tory birch i mean i could go on and on and on and on about everything that's going on right here in allen just right across the highway too you've got the villages just right down the uh, highway about two exits you've got waters creek maybe another additional exit i know some of you in the comments will actually calculate the exact exits from the outlet malls to waters creek and then tell me i'm wrong but that's okay uh, i still love you but yeah uh, waters creek is not too far from here i mean really anything along 75 you've got access to a lot of shopping and there's a lot of it here in allen so you know people are concerned about being up here in frisco and allen and there's nothing around because they think dallas is uh, way down the way but the thing is is that when you're up here in Frisco Allen Plano McKinney this is its whole area up here my belief is that we will start to refer as the DFW to the DFFW and that'll be Dallas Frisco Fort Worth I believe Frisco is going to be the new hub the new city center of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and everything's gonna start expanding north Salina is slated for 350,000 people. It's only like 20,000 people right now. And think about it, Frisco's only 200,000 people. So that amount of growth that's going to be coming to this area is gonna be uh, phenomenal. And we're looking forward to helping every single one of you move to the area. But anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on here. You can see it's super packed. I had to park, <laughs> I'm actually illegally parked right now because this place is so busy. You can't find a spot here on the weekend. So if you want to come here and shop maybe during the week it's a little bit less traffic uh you know always looking for the hacks right save some time but again in this video let's take you around allen let's uh we're looking in the four hundred thousand dollar price range today so we'll show you three different homes in that uh, price range and then that way so you can get a better idea if that's your budget stick around and uh, let's go check out the first one all right so we're at our first stop here in allen texas and again, this is, uh, you know, I would say just a very simple neighborhood, although very quiet. Now, the cool thing is, is just right on the other side over here, a couple of streets away, there's a really good sized park with paved uh, walking or biking trails. I saw a lot of bikers going by in there and it, and it has a lot of overgrowth in there as well. So it's almost like you're uh, biking or walking through a little forest type setting as well. But if you'll see this house right behind me, this one is listed right at four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars it's a three bedroom two bath it's right at 2500 square feet now it was built in 1999 but that's um and also the price per square foot is going to be right around uh, 170 dollars uh, per square foot which is pretty good now the, there's probably a couple of pictures popping up clearly they replaced all the floors i, I can almost promise you those floors were not in there uh, they look like they've got a little bit of a gray tone now it looks like the walls are still kind of a cream color now that's just me uh, those those are the types of things that i look at it's uh i wouldn't put gray floors with a with cream paint you know so i think a different color paint on the walls but otherwise you know the kitchen um looks like they probably painted the cabinets maybe updated the countertops in there as well so so for uh 425 here in the allen area 
not bad uh, you can see nice quiet neighborhood similarity in all these homes probably all built around the same time frame right around the 2000s but um, you're not too far you're uh, like I said there's just a park right across the way that's pretty good size enough for to bike and hike and run all around but you're not too far off of uh, 75 of course and 75 has everything you need uh, you're just down the road uh, on 75 to the allen outlet mall so if you like to shop uh, find a good deal and a bargain there then you've got everything you need uh, you got waters creek and then uh, you're just south of fairview everything you need over here uh, this is on the east side of 75 but yeah you can see i mean there hasn't even been a car that's passed by in here so super quiet over here look at all the trees very well established neighborhood i mean this is why i came to this side of the street <laughs> was for the shade uh, because uh, well it's only 90 today i'll tell you what we're this is nice fall weather here in texas so very nice 90 the humidity has pretty much gone away it's that we've actually had some some cool mornings some like 55 60s in the morning that's a little chill. I actually put on my sweatshirt to go to the gym <laughs> yesterday morning so uh, you know that's the thing as Texans we don't have a very good tolerance for the colder weather or I should say under uh, probably under 70 65 or below Ooh, gets a little chilly for us but otherwise you can see here uh, well they've got the corner lot they've got a pretty good size yard there but otherwise you know, very simple neighborhood again for $425,000. This is what you can get over here, $170 a square foot. You've probably heard that consistently uh, in a lot of our videos. So that's that's a pretty good range here in Allen, even Frisco. Uh, we feature a lot of Frisco videos in the four, five, six, and seven hundred thousand dollar range. You can definitely check those out as well. But a lot of those homes were averaging around the $170 price per square foot. And so uh, you're going to find that over here in Allentown, of course, one of the best high schools in the Dallas area. So that's what makes uh, Allen very desirable as well. Of course, again, a lot of these schools up here in the North Dallas area are all pretty good. So uh, with that, let's go. Let's cruise around this neighborhood so you can kind of see it for yourself as well. And then uh, let's go check out the next one. So we're at our second stop here in Allen, Texas. And look, they've got the bat car going on right here. <laughs> so anyways, or maybe that's, I guess that would be more like the Green Lantern car. That, that's probably more appropriate. But anyways, uh, you're probably seeing a little common theme here so far. Uh, again, neighborhoods established in the uh, late 90s. And uh, they tend to use a lot of the, the red brick, the pink brick. Uh, also even like this brown brick right here uh, in there so but this home we're coming up on has been you know it looks like they did some a uh, few updates in there but it was built in 95 as well but it's right at four hundred sixty thousand dollars it's actually five bedroom three bath it's almost 2900 square feet now that's going to put the price per square foot right around 160 dollars you can see it right there nice two-story home and uh Here's something. What is that? I don't know if that's an animal or if somebody's doing some landscaping. I don't know. Don't want anything uh, to jump out and uh, to get me while I'm in here in the suburbs. Now, uh, well, man, they've already got Halloween decorations coming up as well. Um, oh, some some guys doing some work over there. But anyways, you can still see um, pretty similar to the other neighborhood. Well-established trees. This is a little bit older home community here. Again. Um, late 90s early 2000s most of these homes were built but yeah boy they're ready um they're ready to go so halloween's right around the corner uh which by the way my uh my birthday's in october so uh 
looking forward to that one. All right, so hopefully, I don't know if any, anybody's got anything planned for me, but I hope so. Maybe it's a surprise. But anyways, you, you can kind of see, I mean, you're kind of uh, probably understanding the common theme here in the neighborhoods, uh, but uh, there's not a lot of um, new construction going on in the Allen area. There's a couple little spots here or there, uh, usually onesies and twosies, not like large communities like you'll find going up Frisco, Prosper, Salina, all those types of areas. So it's just something to, uh, you'll find a few here and there scattered out, not too many uh, large communities going on, but uh, McKinney, just north of here, there are some communities uh, still being built out there because there's a lot of land uh, going north. Allen is actually only about 100,000 people. It's probably considered one of the smaller areas, or it is the smaller area when you look at Frisco, McKinney, um, Plano, Prosper. I mean, well, Prosper is small, but I'm talking about, yeah, we'll leave, leave Prosper out of it. You, you get what I mean. But yeah, when you compare it to Frisco and Plano, McKinney, uh, Allen's on the smaller side. So uh, most of it is, is well established over here, but again, um, great shopping, great dining, great school system. Everybody loves it. And so uh, let's cruise around this neighborhood so you can get a better idea of the homes in here. And then let's, uh, let's go check out one more. Alright, so we're here at our last stop uh, today in Allen, and I have no idea what this is, but it's kind of pretty. No. Uh, but you can see there is, you might be able to see playground uh, back there, it looks like community playground, but clearly this community is more, uh, a lot newer. So, and, and as the case with this house coming up, I can't talk today for some reason, but it's alright. Uh, this house right here coming up. Uh, built in 2016 and you're gonna see you can tell by the styles of all the other homes around here that uh, at least being in the Dallas area you can almost drive in here and you can pinpoint that this is like a 2014 2015 2016 type of neighborhood look even in these new neighborhoods they put all the mailboxes right there as well we've kind of talked about this on the aesthetics of these neighborhoods all the mailboxes like in a central location makes it super easy for the mailman to come in uh, or mail person uh, to come in and just stop right there drop off all the mail you don't have a bunch of mailboxes all on the street you can also see that this is one of those rear entry uh, garages type com garage type communities so there you could say and uh, so it keeps everything a lot of cars off of the street and you have this home three bedroom three bath it's right at four hundred sixty five thousand dollars and it's right at 2,128 square feet. So that's gonna put the price per square foot a little bit higher. It's gonna be around uh, $220, $219 uh, for that home. But again, built in 2016. But you can see I'm actually walking along this paved trail system. This is what you'll find a, quite a bit throughout Allen. You saw even over in the last couple of neighborhoods we were in, kind of the same difference is see how this nice wide paved trail goes all the way back and goes uh, over the hill and through the woods. It might even go to grandmother's house. So uh, you can, you know, come out here if you're in one of these communities. It's very convenient to be able to just come out here, go for your walk, go for a bike ride, uh, enjoy a nice evening stroll as well. And they also got a park right over there across the street, Jupiter Park. Uh, looks like everyone's out there playing soccer today, having some fun, uh, drinking some lemonade. And yeah, you got a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good consistent style of homes back in this neighborhood. So it looks like um, this, this community that was built in 2016 is mainly just kind of uh, 
kind of a horseshoe type community because you can see right back there those homes you probably can't see but i can tell those look like we're getting back down in the early 2000s maybe like uh, late 1990s um, for that area right there so this this uh, neighborhood you can see the street goes down that way comes around this way probably just a uh, small community that was built in uh, with new construction in that time frame but overall pretty cool uh, nice little area little hot spot right here again close to absolutely everything uh, that you need and uh, right off of 75 as well but Allen's a great spot uh, their wrestling program uh, but, I mean, they've got so many programs at the Allen High School that really makes it highly desirable. Football, of course, Friday Night Lights, that's always a good thing. But that pretty much sums up Allen for you. And again, you know, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. And until next time, well, we hope to see you around town.